All right, so here I am trying to adjust my blade, and this is uh, matte finish photo paper. Now I was just, I know, so I'm cutting square images, but I, and I know I can just hand cut these just fine, but I wanted to see. So to cut these, how difficult that would be, which As you can see here, the, the blade had cut through the paper completely. So I've got this, this tip here that I uh, bought on Amazon. And inside here I've got a 45 degree blade. And that sucker is just barely poking out. So we're going to try that. In fact, I got it. Uh, if you rub your finger off the top, you can barely even feel that sucker. So let's put that in. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and back up my material. We'll go a little bit offset from what I had. Uh, yeah, we'll go about there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit the test cut and we'll see what happens. Now I've got the uh, cutting four set at uh, 50 cutting speed set at 15 so we'll see let's see what we can see all right so you can see here or you can't let me let me try to so here it did cut the the material but it didn't quite punch through you know if you kind of play with it a little bit See, then you got your little square. So it does cut just enough where you could kind of punch through, I guess. If you're, you know, pulling this apart. Personally, on this photo paper, unless I'm doing like a rounded image or an image with a lot of little, uh, little curves and whatnot, I'm probably not going to use this setting. Uh, I'm doing a lot of square images for the gun show So we're gonna be selling a lot of uh, these images on on picture frames Got this one here really nice But uh, I wanted to see with and and I've got that 45 degree blade in there that thing is really sharp I was cutting decals out with it and it was actually cutting into the paper a little bit so when customers got the stickers and they go to peel the sticker back the paper would come up with it so all my stickers I would have to kind of pick them up off the backing paper drop them back on and it's not hard you know as a customer to just do that but you know people there's a little problem at all they, they look at any opportunity they can to give you some bad feedback but I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna put in uh, my calendar vinyl and run a uh, print and cut job with some stickers and we'll see how that goes with that 45 degree blade okay so this is the computer portion here got the job loaded let's go into my settings now everything's already good to go I don't have to mess with anything up here just gonna go down to cut controls I'm gonna do cut only and now these are my defaults right here this is what it's cutting at now it seemed to cut pretty good i feel like if i go up i'm gonna cut through the paper a bit so i don't want to do that so i'm gonna go ahead and just run it as it is and we'll see how it turns out all right and away we go All right, so I loaded up this job with that uh, 45 degree blade and we are going to run it, but I did leave a, some excess here. I kind of feel like I want to test it first, but I, you know what, I'm gonna actually, let's do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it back. Now it's already got the laminate on it, so with the laminate and the vinyl itself, it's at, uh, see the laminate's 
two millimeters. The vinyl itself is one millimeter, so about three millimeters. Now with my 65 degree blade, I've been running it at 80 for the cut, which is pretty heavy, but that sucker, yeah. And this one, we're, yeah, let's just test it. So give me one second. Okay, so I got it cutting at, at the default. So 50 cutting force, 15 speed. Let's see what we got here. Came off great. The little square was kind of tugging on on one of the corners. The main thing is, is that back, you don't want that cutting through the back. So that's not bad. Okay, so I'm gonna run this job now. And I just press my finger on the crop marks, put it in that little divot where the, the cutting cutting strip is. That's how I line my my uh, crop marks up with the where it needs to go. All right. All right, so right now we're reading these crop marks. Now remember this is with the 45 degree blade. Now these you really got to kind of play with because you can, uh, <clears throat> if you turn your dial too much, you're going to cut too much. Um, you really got to play with your cutting force and, and don't be afraid to waste material during your testing. You're going to waste material, but make sure you get that right because you, uh, you, you try and run a whole job. I've, I've ran a whole job before where it just tore right through the paper and I had to shut down the machine. But we'll let this run and we will do a... We'll do a, a test when it comes out. I keep thinking I can see it cutting through the paper, but it's just the glare from the actual... Um, the design on the job. So far, I'm pretty confident in how it's going to turn out. One thing I have noticed is the uh, the vinyl's kind of bowing up in the middle. Everything's set right, though. But I'll let this run, and then we'll see once it's done.
Okay, let's give it the old testeroo. Using a different uh, tripod here today, so kind of bouncing around everywhere. Oh, let me grab my knife. Okay, so before I start picking off corners and whatnot, I always jump in on a smaller area. Look at that, came right up. Perfect. A plus, A plus. So yeah, these look great, uh, coming right up. <clears throat> In fact, that's working a lot better than that 65 degree blade I had. I actually really like the 45s. It's like I said, the problem I was having before was I had it set too deep where when the customer went to peel up the sticker, it would kind of pull up with the backing paper attached, but you, you set your, your settings right and you're not going to have that problem. And here's where I'll kind of, I forgot to put a border around this design so I don't have to pull that weeding all the way around or all the way to the edge of the, the job vinyl. But that is coming up really nice. <clears throat> I, I would probably prefer to use these blades over the 60 indefinitely. I know they have their uses, the other ones have theirs, but man, that is just night and day difference for me as far as weeding. And, I, and like I said, everything has to do with your own personal settings. What works for my machine probably won't work for your machine. So you really got to play with it and, and be patient and learn how to calibrate that print and cut setting. When I first started doing this, uh, <clears throat> on that print and cut adjustment, you got your little box and then you got your little, uh, like a little square and then your filled in box. And I always got them opposite. So when I, when I would turn the scanning up, I was going the wrong way or, or down. You got to visualize that box is, is, uh, what's moving the, the, the hollow box, not the filled in box. But look at that. This is weeding just like Oracle 651. Man, am I happy. Because I just did this other job. In fact, let me grab that. Same design. Same design, same laminate. And holy cow, man. I had to hand cut a lot of these parts. And also, my cut is off. You can see a little, like the white here, that gray, that's not, that's not supposed to be there. So I am just forever constantly calibrating this machine. And I don't know what it is. Every time I get it calibrated and then I run a job, everything's off again. So that's something I'm personally fighting with on my, my machine. That's it, man. Look at that. This, this particular skull piece I added a lot more bleed in fact I made a clipping mask template I, I actually might sell that template because everything's already in place you have uh, I have a uh, cut contour border set to cut right up against the color and then I have one that leaves a little bit of a border. So if you're taking this design, say you're putting it on a black tinted window and you want just a little bit of white around those edges. And all I have to do is turn off whatever layers I'm not using, export it into an EPS and it's, it's ready to go. I think it would save people a lot of trouble that are trying to run this design. But other than that, weed it up really nice. I mean, that looks great. I'm real happy with that. Um, one thing, like I keep talking about, how if a customer goes to peel it up, 
And looking under there, it's not even indented into the paper at all. So that's a plus. That That's what I was worried about. But I love it. Looks great. Looks great, great. I'm very happy. And I got a gun show I'm doing uh, tomorrow. And I got a lot of jobs to run, so... Um, definitely didn't need any problems right now, but... That's, uh... That's my blade. Well... I've had customers ask me to do videos on these blades and I I keep saying yeah and I kind of get so busy I but this is what I got I got this from Amazon HQ master blades uh, this is your 60 degree and this one you know has your 60 degree angle it's a little bit a uh, little bit more slanted I don't know if you can see that but Definitely do your research on your blades. That's your 60 degree. And these are the 45s. And the 45s are red. They're always red. 60s uh, blue. And this has a little more of a... So, so this is your blade. And this is your angle. 60... Uh, 45 is a little more slanted like that. 60 degree is more like that. And these 45s are awesome because if you want to get like these little tiny little details these little if you got just a lot of little crap going on like this one this one man i had like even this little piece right here by the e sorry about that glare you know i wish i would have cut this job with that uh 45. but any questions please ask me i i get so hung up i got so many orders and uh this gun show I've been trying to get ready for two months. And then I just got done. Just got done with a massive, massive allergic reaction. I don't know if you can see in my face. Still some reddening, but holy cow. Uh, everywhere. Uh, I'm a hard head. I had some metal against me that I shouldn't have had. Um, on my belt buckle, so... To block the metal, I put vinyl wrap around it. Said, okay, that's gonna block the metal. Well, I didn't know the vinyl wrap had latex in it, and I'm even more allergic to latex. I swear I look worse than Hitch from that movie with Will Smith. But that's why I've been around. Uh hope my viewers have stuck with me. I'm I'm back. And I'm gonna be pumping out a lot more stuff.